Hello friends, Andre Kai is with you and in this video I will again answer the questions that have accumulated under my Rifa story guides. This time Rifa story will be version 116.5. And a question from the trash. Can you tell me how the portable terminal works? Now I'll tell you about this thing. There are two of them in fashion, a creative portable terminal and a regular portable terminal that needs to be charged. I accordingly took a regular portable terminal and put it in the charger, it's from another mod. And that's how it charges. Now it can be used. Taking it in your hand and clicking the right mouse button, you will notice that it has a very similar interface to a regular terminal. Absolutely similar interface, except that there are no slots for crafting. And there is one such additional slot. This slot will allow you to load storage disks into it, to which you can easily load items, get them out and use them at any time. It is also possible to place liquid cells in it and, accordingly, pour some liquids. Or take them. Pay attention that for each opening you will spend the energy that was in this terminal. You can also click this terminal on some block and it will be installed in the world. I think I've answered your question. The next question is from Zlato Vlasic. Is there any wireless way to connect the mechanisms? Of course there is. I'll show you now. For a wireless connection, we will need a network receiver and a network transmitter, as well as a network card. Also, for example, I will take the following mechanisms. These are crushers from the mechanism, a furnace generator from an Indicel van, an import tire, an export tire, some cables and fuel for our generator. Let's do it. We take a network transmitter and connect it to our main ME system. In some other place we install a network receiver. Next, we take the network card, clamp the shield and right-click on the network receiver. Accordingly, the coordinates of this receiver were recorded on our map. We upload a map with these coordinates to the network transmitter. And here we are shown the distance at which our receiver is located. And now you can automate it. We install a crusher and a furnace generator. We connect an export bus to our generator and one export bus to the crusher. We power it all with wires and lead it to the network receiver. We put an import bus to the crusher and also connect it. We load oak boards as fuel for the generator. We configure the export bus, which leads to the generator. There we install oak boards, phantom, they are not spent. And the oak boards themselves began to be supplied to our generator, accordingly, it began to generate energy, and our crusher receives energy from the generator. We will throw a stone that will be processed in our crusher. Now we will configure the exporter so that it supplies this stone to the crusher itself and it starts working already. And in order for the stone to be taken by our importer, here we need to make sure that our faces give resources and, accordingly, the cobblestone is given into our system. It is already here and will be constantly replenished. It's already 5. In fact, here is our system and here are our mechanisms and they are connected wirelessly. So I answered your question. And the next question from Dartball is 2001. How to make resources move faster to the stove, crusher, and so on. Let's look at the example of this crusher. Without improvements, the export bus delivers resources at about this rate. But if that's not enough for you, you can put the speed improvement here and see how fast the resources will be delivered now. But if that's not enough for you, you can remove one speed improvement and add a stack improvement instead. That's how it's made from the same speed improvements. Improving the stack will allow you to load a stack of resources at once. I think I've answered your question. And the next question was very interesting for me personally. Rimmed love, is it possible to support a certain number of items in the ME system so that all resources are not spent at zero? Because the resource getting into the system is immediately redrawn into a block, it is inconvenient and the resources have to be redone back. I've been thinking for a while how this can be implemented. The solution turned out to be the following. To solve this issue, we will need an export bus, an external storage bus, a cable, two templates, a creation improvement and a new controller improvement. I'm not sure if it's at 112, but it's at 116.5, which is where I'm testing right now. And that's how it's done. Then you will need a regular chest and a collector. And let's take these resources as an example. As far as I understand, you want certain resources to be constantly maintained in the system and not overdrawn. Alright, 
To begin with, we will install the collector, connect it. In the template encoder, we will create two mutually similar crafts. The first is the Teresto block and, accordingly, the craft from the Reston block of Reston Dust. We upload these ready-made templates to our collector. Next, we install the chest and connect the external storage bus and the export bus to it. We connect it with a cable to our system. And now the most interesting thing, we put the export bus into the regulator. It will allow us to maintain a certain number of items in some inventory. In our case, it will be one restown block. There are no resources at all in our system right now. We throw in some rest and dust and then we put the creation improvement into the export tire. That is, if we do not have enough of a resource, it will be automatically docked. And thanks to this improvement, we will always have one unit of the arrest and block in our chest. And due to the external storage bus, everything that will be contained in our chest will be displayed in the terminal. Let's test it now. Now I will throw all the rest in that I have and we will constantly create one rest in block. Now he has been taken away and he has become again. Please note that we have run out of redstone and we can no longer make rest in blocks. Then we'll just repeat the same thing with rest in dust. We take one rest in dust and install it here. And we put all the resources into the system. And please note that now we have it all looped. Instead of one dust, we will constantly create nine and this system is closed. I think I've answered your question. That is, in fact, you can upload the resources you need here, which must be constantly maintained in one or another amount. Also, the improvement of the controller allows you to set a specific number of items that will be contained in the inventory. If you click, for example, on an Estonian block, you can choose the quantity. For example, it always supports two blocks instead of one. And we will always have two in our chest. The first and the second. That's it for me, friends, I hope I answered all your questions correctly and helped someone. In general, I advise you to watch a guide on this fashion, I have it on my YouTube channel. It was shot, of course, on version 112, but it is also relevant for the version above. Good luck, friends.